As I carve this topography map of Zion National Park, I can't help but to think of the time I stood on top of it. Or, more honestly, the time I almost didn't. It was Christmas Day, 2018. My wife and I had just driven 1,700 miles from Kentucky to Utah. It took us over 28 hours on the road to get there. We were heading to see friends, but carved out two days for Zion National Park. We pulled into Springdale with our dogs, Max and Minnie, curled up in the back seat. And for the first time in days, it felt like we could finally relax. For the two months leading up to this trip, my wife had been super excited to hike Angel's Landing. I had been avoiding the topic. I watched videos, I read stories. Every article said the same thing. People die here. She called it adventure. I called it something I would rather not experience. But we had a plan. Day one, we would hike Observation Point. Day two, we would hike Angel's Landing. Observation Point is the less scary of the two, but still no joke. Seven miles round trip, two hours up, two hours down. But what I remember most was the sound, something crashing through the brush off the trail. We froze. Then 20 feet away, a group of rams stepped onto the rock face like it was nothing. At the top, the view hit hard. Zion Canyon stretched wide open beneath us. And off in the distance, there it was, Angel's Landing. From that height, it looked small, almost manageable, like maybe this wouldn't be so bad. The next morning, we started the hike to Angel's Landing, and right away, I felt it. The nerves, the doubt that I had been feeling leading up to this trip all came rushing back. Here's the thing, Angel's Landing has claimed 18 lives. It's a strenuous climb with steep, exposed rock faces. My wife was still excited, still charging forward, until we reached Scout Lookout the base of the chains. She stopped, her face changed. And she said, I don't think I wanna do this now. And just like that, we switched roles. I felt calm, steady, and I said, well, there's no going back now. After a little bit of back and forth and a promise that if it got too scary, we would turn around, we went for it. The last half a mile was something else, gripping the chain, stepping over gaps, letting people pass us on narrow pathways, trying not to look down, but we kept going one step at a time and somehow we made it. Christmas day, sitting on top of Angel's Landing, we called our families, tried to show them the view. Of course, the camera didn't do it justice. That night, we were exhausted. We limped into the only restaurant open in town, a Chinese buffet, best meal of the trip. Seven years later, we still talk about that hike. And now, as I carve this map, I can feel it all over again. The pride, the fear, and this is my reminder that we don't make things just to sell or to decorate a wall. We make them to remember. 